Welcome to Celebrating Act Two and another wonderful conversation with John Mariani, the virtual gourmet. John, I always get hungry talking, talking <laughs> with you. Yeah, it was closer to my lunchtime than yours, but go on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, as you know, I'm a big fan of your uh, newsletter, The Virtual Gourmet, free, by the way, at johnmariani.com. Yes, it is. Um, and the, I, I, was it this week or last week you wrote an article about San Marzano tomatoes? Now, mm. I am a tomato fan. I love, I'm a gardener. I love growing tomatoes. We love fresh tomatoes. Penny will never go to the trouble of taking fresh tomatoes, boiling them and skinning them and for fresh for spaghetti sauce or any other tomato sauce. So, of course, she's using canned tomatoes, as I think most people do. As well. And um, I had not heard the name San Marzano canned tomatoes. And I, I read the article about them. You were very enthusiastic about them. Well, I'm I'm not alone. Um, first of all, San Marzano is not a brand, so go out and buy your San Marzano, maybe stuffed in there by Kraft Foods or something. San Marzano is a place <clears throat> in Sicily, very, 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 very small place, but it is legendary for producing the best tomatoes uh, in in Italy. There's just something about the soil. It's near Mount Vesuvius, as you said. It's volcanic soil. And so that adds measurably. Now, let's go back a little to that. Remember, as I've said before in this program, the tomato came from the Americas to Italy, and Italians never laid eyes on a tomato until the 17th century. Uh, and they thought it was poisonous because it was, remember, the deadly nightshade family. So only yeah. poor people in Africa tomatoes, but they did find that, especially in the South, because of the sun, in the volcanic soil, it, it uh, grew very, very well. But you would never find a tomato north of Sicily or, or Rome, certainly, until the 19th century when they started to can these beauties. And at that point, um, with the canning, anybody anywhere could get these Italian tomatoes, first of all. And if you were lucky enough, San Marzano, because there just aren't that many of them. The, the technical term is a peniolo. Peniolo, they're, um, they're shaped... Uh, kind of like a um, an olive, like a big olive. They're not round as ours yeah. are right. here. But it is an Italian product, and you can buy it here. Uh, and all you have to do is look for two things. Um, because the name San Marzano is protected under Italian law, but so you have to look on the label. It will say San Marzano tomatoes, and it will say not just packed in Italy, but it will say product of Italy, okay, and imported from right. Italy. So that way you're going to guarantee that you're getting real San Marzano tomatoes. And are they much better? Yeah, they really, really are. Um, they're extraordinary. They have an intensity of flavor that you don't get from any other tomatoes. I mean, I'm not, here at home, if we want to make a quick tomato sauce, uh, I'll use an American canned tomato um, uh, any day. But if you have access to these, it's going to be richer. And to put the a point on it, um, I was with our old friends, uh, Frank Iacobellis, Walter Bagley, and Fred Menick, whom we went to high school with, and we were coasting down the Amalfi Coast <clears throat> and uh, south of Naples, and we stopped uh, at what is basically a winery called Cantina del Vesuvio, or, uh, right, it's right next to Vesuvio, got a lot of alconic soil. And there we had lunch, and their wines were delicious, but they serve uh, only one thing, um, and that's spaghetti with their tomato sauce. And you could call them up right now, John, and ask them, where's the best spaghetti and tomato <laughs> sauce you've ever had? And they will not hesitate. It was something that just sent me back in my seat like, yeah, tomatoes before. Okay? I mean, it really, really was amazing. And they said, we plucked these right out of the garden, right over there, you know, yeah. 10 yards from where you're. And that makes an enormous, enormous difference because you can never buy them fresh in America. You don't, nobody imports those tomatoes. Um, the tomatoes we get, get, first of all, we get tomatoes year round in America, which is nonsense. Yeah. And second of all, when they, they gas them so that they stay fresher uh, for a longer period of time. And um, they're often green and they ripen to red. No, I mean, the only time that we, like you, John, my wife 
is a great gardener and uh, she grows tomatoes as my son does. And we don't start eating tomatoes, fresh tomatoes, until August, September and into October. Rest yeah. of the year, we only use sauce. And I go to Italian restaurants all the time that have uh, insalata caprese, right? a nice slice of mozzarella and a nice slice of, of uh, some basil and a nice uh, slice of tomato. And it's as pink as my fingers are here. I mean, it's just not worth eating. Yeah. Uh, so when you see it, and, and I guarantee any California, Arizona, um, Chicago supermarket is going to have a little section there of San Marzano tomatoes. Good, hmm. good. I appreciate that. Going to look for it. A right, quick question for you, John. So in, uh, let's say you're dining in America. What mm -hmm. kind of restaurants might only use these uh, uh, for their sauce? Are there any or is it hit and miss? Oh, sure. No, I mean, uh, a, a very good, a fine Italian restaurant, a trattoria that takes its food seriously. And you can judge it by tasting the quality and intensity of the tomato sauce. Mm -hmm. um, because, uh, it's, uh, tomato sauce is absolutely requisite to uh, Italian American food. Um, sure. It is, is, is in Italy now. And only because, I mean, you'll never find a guy in Rome or in Venice or in Florence making a tomato sauce with fresh tomatoes. I mean, everybody uses the canned tomatoes. Sure. It's that simple. Sure. Yeah. Well, thank you. My pleasure. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.